Give him the game for top time. I think I probably need lipstick on it, but yeah, okay. My daughter. No, you don't need it. You can you don't have it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna make some apricot pie. This apricots we canned this summer. We put five cups of fresh apricots to one cup of sugar. We boil it over the uh, stove and let it kind of cook for, cook down, and then we put it in the in our little canning jars and we put it in the freezer. So then when we want to make fresh. Apple, apple pie, apricot pie, it's ready to go. Okay, so what you need is two cups of flour. A teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna stir it here. And a cup of Crisco. Okay, after you do put the those three things in, then you get a, I use this. I don't even know what it's called. They call it a blender? No, I don't know what it's called. Pastry cutter, that's it. And I kind of just do this until it makes like little balls in here. And okay, then I add some milk, about a half a cup. And I get it with my hands. Like this, and I put it all, and I kind of combine it. Okay. It starts to get kind of sticky feeling. And I'm going to take some flour. Left handed here, I should have put some on the board this one. Like this, and I pull it out. I just make it into a ball. If you have time, at this point you can wrap it with foil and put it in your refrigerator, and then it's easier to roll out. But today I'm not going to do that. Okay. Then I kind of put a little bit of flour on my board, and I take half of this, and I put a little bit of flour on my hands. I made it to fall. You really don't want to play with it too much because the more you play with it, the harder it gets. Okay, this not gonna work. Okay, and you're gonna go from the center and you come out. Center, out, center, out, center, out. And then you have to turn it. Good boy. Gonna fall. <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to kind of get it round, and then you roll it onto here. Put it on here, roll it out, and then you kind of push it to where you want it to go. Okay, so then this here, I kind of just make it so it fits. I might have to pull some from over here and put it over there, so it goes all around. Okay, and I'll get my apricots. Put it inside. And spread it around. And usually what I do, I need to get some butter. I forgot to get some butter. I dot it with butter. A few more calories. Thank you. Okay. Now this is kind of soft, but it'll work okay. Just a little bit of butter. That's it. All my boys like apricot pie. Paul's favorite, Mark's favorite, even my son-in-law Steve's favorite. So it's real easy. We make lots of apricots. We can a lot of them. Everybody likes them. When we have big parties, we make sheet pies. We use the same pan that we use for the fogaccia, 
and we make, I do two of these recipes here, and we make sometimes three. So I just told you not to do one. Do one. Okay, I'll roll it, I'm gonna turn it over. Just a little bit of here. Okay. Sometimes it comes out perfect. Sometimes it's not coming out perfect like today. It's okay, it'll still work. It still tastes good. You go like this. You put your pie dish here. You flip it on here and you roll it over. You kind of move it a little bit. And then you kind of take your pieces and you piece it together. And you kind of turn it and then I flip this over. I make like a little ridge. Go all the way around. Okay, so this is not going to have as much, and this has too much, so I'm going to move some of this over here. Used to like to do this when I was little. I had a little playhouse outside. We used to make with cannery boxes, and I'd get mud and make pies. I have my bakery. <laughs> now I still like to make pies. Okay. Then go like this. You pinch, go around. Some people do it this way, I guess it'll still work. If you want, you can do it this way, make your pie. And sometimes you can get a paper, um, cookie cutter and make like a little design with a leaf or something, you can put it on there. And just go around. All right, that's it. Make your little holes in here. And you're ready to go. Okay. And then when you go to bake it, it's best not to put it in the oven like this. You need to get some foil. Let me get some over here. And you make a little go like this. That's for some reason, I guess because it sticks up higher. It bakes quicker and it'll brown and it'll burn before the rest of the pie is cooked. So what I do is I put this on for about the first 30 minutes and then the last 10 minutes I take it off. Or you could really actually, sometimes I leave it on the whole time. For some reason that the, the steam or heat must get underneath and it cooks it anyway. Then I put it in a 400 degree oven uh, for about 25 minutes and I put a little bit lower and then I just watch it. When it gets brown, it's ready because actually the apricots are already cooked, so that's it.